Hi, thanks so much for joining me here today on my channel. And for this video, which is going to be another look that I create with my Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. I wanna recreate a look that I saw somebody make on YouTube. I'll be sure to link that video down below. But I'm gonna use this beautiful palette to create a gorgeous fall look. So if that sounds like something you wanna see, just keep watching. I'm going to loosely recreate a look that I saw somebody do very loosely. <laughs> it's going to be my interpretation of, so um, I'm just going to jump in. I'm going to start off with this beautiful orange here in the middle. This is my first time to play with that shade. I'm just gonna try to set that down softly where I wanna get that started off. That's how the color is starting off. What is on my face? I have a hair here that is just tickling my nose. Ugh. Okay, that was actually not a dog hair. It was from this brush. The, my refer brushes shed a lot. Kind of why I stopped using the bronzer brush so much, but today I used the bronzer brush and the powder brush. All right, let me. Um, I'm gonna get that blended out with the yellow. Maybe I should have started more towards the inside. Yeah, I'm gonna start right here where I want it to be real bright and yellow, and I'm gonna take that over and meet that with the orange shade. Really like the way those two are blending. No additional brush, I mean, no, no additional product on the yellow brush. I'm just gonna try to soften that edge that I just recreated. Just for a little bit of like fire in the crease. I'm gonna go in with, I want something smaller. Mm. I'm gonna go in with this um, soft definer from Sonia Jean, and I'm gonna just take a little bit of red into that crease, just to amp up that fire color a little bit. Not so much on this outside, but more so here in the middle. And because I have a very small area there, I want a really defined brush and then I'll go back in and blend it out. All right. Oh, that's getting really pretty. Yeah. Clean mini booster. I'm just going to softly blend that into the crease. I'm loving that mustardy ketchup mixed looking color right here I've got going on in my eyes. Really liking how that turned out. I really just want to focus on this middle part because the rest is about to get a different color. Okay, girl, let's see where we can go with this because here's where it's about to get tricky. I'm gonna take this warm brown that I have not played with yet back here. Oh, that's nice. This pencil is really nice. Okay. And I'm gonna try to keep that on this half right back here. Really detailed. I don't think this is going to end up looking anything like hers, but I'm just inspired by the color story that she created and the look that she made. I mean, of course, her look was amazing. My, my look might be nice. <laughs> okay, I will say this is a teeny, teeny, tiny bit, I don't really want to say scratchy, but I can feel the ends of the hair, let me just say.
Now I'm gonna go back in with that clean mini booster and just try to blend this little crease area. Next, what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna keep it kind of simple, which is nothing like what she did. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pull this down because it's getting on my nerves. It's giving me a headache. <sighs> I tried, guys, I tried. Um, here's where we're at so far with the eye look. I'm gonna go in with the lid shade now. Okay, I'm gonna do this orange in the middle. I'm gonna go with, oh. No, not this deep one. I'm going to go with this bright fire shimmer orange. I haven't played with this yet. Oh, that's pretty. That feels nice on my brush. A little bit of stuff topped off, not much. And I'm going to put this just right there. Okay, I probably could have used a little bit of that deeper orange. So I'm going to stack them up a little bit. Okay, there's, ooh, I'm going to take that all over. <laughs> I love this shimmer. Wow. Oh my God. I love the way that brown is mixing with that shimmer here on the edge. I'm just gonna try to build it back up a little bit. Okay, here's where we're at so far. I'm gonna take this deeper orange back here towards the top. Mm. I'm gonna spray this one. I really just wanna keep this right here where I want a little bit more deep orange. Okay. So here's where we're at so far. <laughs> I'm gonna take this teeny tiny natural hair pencil by Ruffer and I just want a little pop of brightness in that sea of yellow right here. So I'm gonna just put that right there. I'm not gonna blend that up too much because I don't want it to overtake the yellow color. So just right here. I'm gonna take this deeper orange right here. It's deeper than the one that I have in my crease. It's this one right here. And I'm gonna use that one underneath the lash line right here in the front half. Okay, here's the completed eyeshadow look using the Sunset Palette. I'm gonna go ahead and add eyeliner and mascara, put on a bold lip, and I'll be right back to show you the completed look. All right. <laughs> I'm really happy with the way the look turned out. So this is my fall autumn leaf look. Let me know what you think of the look down below. Let's see how many shades I played with today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I used eight shades today to create this look. <laughs> um, yeah, and some of them were shades that I hadn't played with yet before. So that's really exciting. I really enjoyed getting a little bit more use out of my beautiful Sunset palette. I do plan to use this palette a lot more. I love this palette so far, and I still have other shades that I haven't touched yet in the palette that I do wanna to get to know. So if I hadn't mentioned it earlier, let me go ahead and say, this is the nail polish that I am currently wearing. It is from China Glaze. I got it on clearance for half price. Let's see if you can see the color, okay. I will have this listed down below if you're curious. So yeah, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to stick around and hang out with me in the future. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.